Chị thấy Okay, so we've done our last strike from there. Kicks coming in and move. This one's doing the UK, this one's Gamay cover. So from this side, kicks come in here, move, move, close to the body, not hit, cover, and gamai, cover. Then we're going to swap, strike, and still get your gamai, cover. So here, a bit further over, so you get a good kick, so really push in. Watch, one, cover, then change, strike. Try not to, in your kata, and then do it. Try and do the strike as you're going out. Yeah, so you're not, but almost in kibidach, coming out. Once more. Yeah, one, cover, strike, and yeah, man. So, <coughs> last few moves. Um, he's basically full Joe Danukis. Um, seems a little bit strange to do what is commonly thought as a defensive move. But Joe Danukis have changed many times over the years. I think I could do at least a half an hour session with various types of Joe Danukis that I've been taught throughout the years. So it's a little bit similar to Pinan Shodan when you do Gidan Barai Joe Danuki, Gidan Barai Joe Danuki. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem quite right to sort of finish on a Nuki. Don't know. So what we'll do is we will use the Joe Danukis as an Uchi as a strike. So, from here, Jodanuki, 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 Jodanuki. So, what we'll be doing is Jodanuki, but strike and Kazushi. Jodanuki. Take and strike. So you're using the action of a Jodanuki as a striking movement as well as your Jodanuki. So, Aish. So, Jodanuki. You've got to watch this hand, so we need to come in and hit or take. Uh, so, from here, Jodanuki. We've got to watch this hand, so we need to cover and take. So, Jodanuki, watch this hand, coming through, and Kazushi. The Jodanuki for the Gaku, I'm coming th round and through. But at the same time, I want to be heat striking, I want to be covering myself for this one. So, through, and into your Jodanuki. Once more, yeah, cover and through, and cover and through. So we've been asked quite a few times about this hand position. Um, basically it stems from 
this. Okay, obviously some sort of gung fu greeting. Yeah, that was explained to me. This is the moon, this is the sun, this is the good emperor, this is the bad emperor. So, but when things went from uh, Okinawa to Japan, generally things were made into Japanese rather than reflecting on China. So, here. Yeah. And you start quite a few cutters with this position. This regional course into this regional course here. So, bad emperor, good emperor. Wish. Hey, this kata and uh, chinto, you'll find that you are facing the wrong way. But that's the way the kata is formed, and we're not going to change anything like that. Um, the issue is, is when people stand up, they tend to do a fantastic kata, and then they stumble. They lose their balance. So it's only a very, very minor point, but if you're trying to perfect your kata, then if, if we can suggest something that's going to help, then that's got to be a good point. So it's basically people start moving their head around or their body around, which obviously then creates a bit of a gyration around your center. So therefore you're going to lose your balance. Your balance organ is in your ear. So when you're going to stand up, then try and come up straight. Not let your head rotate. Even here I've got feet in the wrong position. So if you lift and keep your back straight and your head's going to go straight up, it should be perfect. Most times. 